Hi everyone, it's Leela with Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's Tumblr tutorial, I'm going to show y'all how I created this St. Patty's Day themed Tumblr. Like always, all of my materials will be listed in my description below, including some direct links and coupon codes. And for all of my beginner viewers, I'll also have a list of my beginner help tutorials in my description below for y'all to check out and help y'all along the way. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm starting with this 20 ounce stainless steel tumbler. I've prepped this tumbler by sanding it and wiping it down with 91% alcohol. My first step is going to be adding some Mod Podge and acrylic paint to the tumbler. So you see that I add that acrylic paint right into that Mod Podge. I'm mixing it up and adding that second color. This is completely optional if you would like to add your acrylic paint with your Mod Podge. Uh, the most important part is adding this Mod Podge to the tumbler. So I'm first going to uh, show y'all all of the glitters I'll be working with today. They're all from Glitter Heart Co. and they are listed on my screen. I'm going to separate all of these glitters in their own separate cups uh, so I don't make a big mess. And there's the Mod Podge brush that I use to apply my Mod Podge. So first I add all of my Mod Podge all over the tumbler. I wait to do the bottom to the last uh, step so I can stand my tumbler up while I'm adding my glitters. So adding all that Mod Podge over the tumbler, I'm not doing this in steps, I'm adding uh, the Mod Podge and the glitters all at once. You can also use the epoxy method if it works well for you, but I find using the Mod Podge method for me works better for me. And once I have that good coat of Mod Podge on my tumbler, I'm taking my first color and I'm applying that color randomly around the tumbler, just in like streaks. I'm not overthinking this part. I'm just adding it randomly. And then I take the next color and add that on top of the Mod Podge. I really love this tumbler because it's super easy. This is all random um, effects, or I would say a random placement around the tumbler. So don't overthink this part. Just add your glitters wherever you want to add your glitters, just filling up that tumbler. At the end of this, you're going to see that this tumbler is filled with glitter. So that is the a goal of this tumbler is to make sure this tumbler is filled completely with glitter. And while I was adding my glitter to my tumbler, I wanted to add one more color to the tumbler. So I went ahead and I started using Granny Smith, just another green I had uh, on my shelf. Again, just adding that glitter randomly around the tumbler. And you'll notice whenever I added the glitter, I did more of lines of glitter instead of like splotches. So you'll see I went up and down the tumbler instead of left to right. I wanted to keep that the same. So that's the only thing I really thought about is to make sure that I did the lines of glitter and not just the splotches. And now you're seeing me add my final glitter, which is gold metal and that's gold. I waited to add the gold till the end because I wanted that gold to be an accent. And I I didn't want to overpower that green tumbler with too much gold. So adding that gold in the tiny places that you see the Mod Podge just randomly around the tumbler, spilling that all over the tumbler until the tumbler was completely covered in the glitter. And once I was finished with the tumbler, I went ahead and I started on the bottom, add in that Mod Podge first, and then add in those other colors of glitter. And you'll see that I tried to keep the same theme on the bottom as around the tumbler, adding that glitter in lines rather than splotches. And just taking my time, adding one color of glitter at a time. The bottom does get a little stubborn whenever you're adding glitter to the tumbler. So especially with the chunky glitter, I just went ahead and I took my fingers and I just added the glitter on with my fingers and pressing down with my fingers. And then I took some fine glitter and I just placed that fine glitter in areas where there wasn't any glitter. So I went around the tumbler one more time just to fill in those little blanks. 
And since I was working with a lot of chunky glitters, I decided to use some parchment paper and wrap my tumbler in the parchment paper and press firmly down on the paper. What this does is this allows all the glitters to stick to the tumbler and allows all those uh, chunky glitters to stick firmly on the tumbler, leaving you with a smooth tumbler. I do this while my Mod Podge was still wet. I did not wait till the Mod Podge was wet because I wanted to make sure that these glitters stuck down to the Mod Podge and so in the future I won't have to sand this tumbler as much after I apply my epoxy. And after that step, I went in with my Krylon Crystal Clear acrylic coating and I applied two generous coats all around the tumbler and I allowed that to dry for 15 minutes. And once my acrylic coating was dry, I went in with my epoxy. I'm using a total of 30 milliliters of epoxy. That's 15 milliliters part A and 15 milliliters part B, totaling 30 milliliters of epoxy. The reason why I'm using so much epoxy is because I am using chunky glitter. And whenever you're using chunky glitter, you have to use more epoxy than you would with just fine glitter. So I wanna make sure I have a very generous coat of epoxy on this tumbler. I don't want any of that glitter peeking through that epoxy and I want to sand as little as possible. I did use my fast set epoxy for this step, so it did take about two hours for the epoxy to dry to the touch. And once my epoxy was dried on the tumbler, what I did next was go around with my sanding block and I sanded around the tumbler. Again, I used a lot of epoxy for this, so I didn't need to sand as much as I would. And me pressing down with that parchment paper really helped this step. So I first went around with my 220 grit sanding block and I sanded away um, all of the fine pieces of the glitter peeking through the epoxy. And then I went in with my 120 grit sanding block and I did the same to sand any of those stubborn areas. And then I took an X-Acto knife and I just cut the rim of the tumbler, all that excess epoxy I just decided to cut off. And then I took my 120 grit sanding block and then I sanded around the rim of the tumbler, creating uh, just a nice, just clean rim of my tumbler. So whenever I go to re-epoxy, it's going to be nice and clean. And then I took 91% alcohol and I wiped my tumbler down with that alcohol, removing any excess oils or any sanding dust I may have added on the tumbler. And now to add some acrylic paints to my tumbler, I took Aztec gold, bronze, and gold from Arteza and I added them on the tumbler. I took a brush with some bristles and I just dipped that brush into these paints. You only need a little bit of paint but um, you just need to add those bristles onto the paint and you'll see how little I add. And then you just wipe all of that paint or you brush all that paint on the tumbler. And you can see that little amount of paint that I'm adding to the tumbler, but I wanted to give it that kind of rugged look or the worn out look. So that's why I decided to add these paints. And whenever I'm adding these paints, I'm making sure that my strokes are going from top to bottom. And I wanna make sure those strokes are as straight as possible. And then I decided to take my natural sponge that I purchased from Lowe's a couple years ago and put the paint on the sponge since I had some left over. And you'll see that I dab that sponge into the paint and then I dab the paint onto the tumbler just in random spots, just like as I would the glitter or the brush strokes I did earlier. Guys, don't overthink this tumbler. This tumbler is 
full of just randomness, just placing everything everywhere and making something beautiful. So don't overthink this, have fun with this tumbler and I'm sure you guys will create something beautiful. And y'all can see that beautiful mess on that tumbler. It is absolutely gorgeous when you have all those paints layered on top of that glitter. And after adding all the paints to the tumbler, it took about five minutes to dry because I added such a little amount of paints. I went in with my epoxy. I used about 10 milliliters of epoxy for this step because all I wanted was to seal in those paints. So I used five milliliters part A and five milliliters part B, totaling 10 milliliters of epoxy. And again, I'm using my fast set epoxy for this step. And then I took my tumbler outside and I wanted to create a bleach stain for this tumbler using this green Krylon paint. This is super easy to do. All you do is you take the paint, I do my test sprays first, and then you spray a certain area around your tumbler, just little spurts of the spray paint all around the tumbler, creating a nice circle around the tumbler. Don't worry about any of that overspray. I'm going to clean it up with this 100% uh, acetone right now. So I'm just putting that acetone on that napkin and I'm just wiping away any of that excess overspray that may have uh, been placed on my tumbler. And I'm creating a nice circle or oval around the tumbler, removing any of that spray paint that I don't want on the tumbler. And I made sure to do this part after my spray paint was completely dried. And for my next step, I'm adding some tacket over and over and adding some copper flakes over. So I added that tacket all over the areas where I wanted it to be placed. And I made sure to add those in just the spray painted areas. And you have to make sure that your tacket dries completely before you add those copper flakes. And no, you cannot use Mod Podge for this method because whenever your Mod Podge dries, it's going to dry hard as your tacket dries uh, tacky. So you could see that that copper sticks to that tacket over and over. So if that was Mod Podge, it would not stick to Mod Podge at all whenever it dried. So I am just rubbing that copper flakes on with my fingers, making sure that I'm getting all of that copper all over that tumbler where I want it to be placed. And once I place all of those copper flakes, my tumbler did not need to be sealed with anything. It's completely dried. You don't have to spray this with anything. Those copper flakes aren't going anywhere. And then I found this cute water slide that I found from Etsy that I'm going to add to my tumbler. I'm adding that to my spray painted area. The water for my water slide is room temp water, so it's not too hot, it's not too cold. And I'm adding that water slide right over those copper flakes. I did not add epoxy over the copper flakes. I'm just placing that right over. Like I said, those copper flakes aren't going anywhere and you can add water over that section. Before you move on to epoxy, make Make sure your water slide is completely dried with no water left behind. And I would like to apologize on this step. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So all I did was I took 15 milliliters of epoxy, that's 7.5 milliliters part A and 7.5 milliliters part B, totaling 15 milliliters of epoxy. And I added some gold additive, which is a majesty from Glitter Heart Co. into my epoxy, and you'll see it right here and you'll see the epoxy I show on the screen. It's added together. I did add a lot more than what I was supposed to, but it's okay. It's more beautiful the more sparkly it is. So all I did was I combined those together and then I added that uh, epoxy with an additive onto the tumbler. And I just applied it with my glove finger like I would any other coat of epoxy. Once I was finished adding the epoxy to my tumbler, I let my tumbler spin on the cup turner for four hours. I then turned off my cup turner, let my tumbler air dry or cure for 20 hours with a total drying or curing time of 24 hours.
And here is my final result with this tumbler. I am really, really happy with how this beautiful mess turned out. And I'm actually really happy that I was heavy handed with that gold additive. It really turned out gorgeous with that extra sparkle over top that decal and all of the other sparkles. So before we're finished, uh, what I do is I take my X-Acto knife and then I clean up the rim just like what I did earlier in the video. I'm just doing one more clean around my tumbler, cutting off any excess epoxy around the rim of that tumbler. And then once I was finished cleaning up the inside of my tumbler, y'all can see my final tumbler. Guys, I had so much fun creating this tutorial for y'all and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tumbler and craft videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.